guys, so today I'm going to be doing a story time video and just chatting to you guys about a bit of a hair disaster that I had a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I don't actually have any pictures to show you which I'm really annoyed about but when you have a hair disaster and you absolutely hate your hair when you go to the hairdressers, um, the last thing you want to do is take a picture. However, I really wish I would have so I should, could have showed you. The one thing I did is I sent a Snapchat to Bradley but I didn't save it, um, he didn't save it so it's just a bit frustrating. However, I'm going to talk you through the situation and let you know what happened so maybe if this happens to you then you know what to do I don't really know but yeah I'm just gonna talk you through the situation and what happened so my hair before was like this in this picture here um, I had kind of like long hair it was a similar to color to what it was now uh, probably a bit more brown and um, there's a lot of blonde at the bottom of my hair now and I really like how my hair looks now um, however that was my hair before and that's how it was when I went to the hairdressers. My roots were quite bad so all I wanted was my roots to be touched up which normally my friend Claire always does my roots for me um, but I also wanted some balayage so I wanted balayage through the bottom like it is now um, just to kind of lighten it up and I said I really want it a little bit more blonder as we're going like spring summer and I wanted to kind of like get gradually blonder as it went on. So I said this to the colourist that I had and I said it over the phone and they were like yeah that's absolutely fine we'll put it down as a balayage and that's absolutely fine so it's like okay great. So I went in and she said okay we'll touch up your roots and put balayage through the bottom now she showed me two color swatches one which was a brown one and one which was a blonde one and she was like are these okay and I said well if that's gonna match my roots then that's absolutely fine but I want to keep the same color on top because I was happy with the color on the top of my hair I just wanted it lighter towards the bottom kind of like ombre but a bit more subtle um, so that's what I said that I wanted. So I wanted it to look obviously blonder, um, but I definitely don't want it darker. And I specified that so many times. Um, when she was putting the colour on, I said to her, oh, that looks a bit dark. I promise it's not going to be dark. And she said, yeah, yeah, it's definitely not going to be dark. I said that about three times and asked her whether it was going to be dark or not. So the dye was on my hair. And so she did my roots and she did to about here with this dye, which... I should have rang alarm bells in the first place anyway because obviously for my roots she would have only had to do like the very top bit um, and then for the balayage she got kind of like a brush and she kind of like brushed it through the ends um, which the balayage was absolutely fine so anyway she did that and as I sat there I was like this is very very dark it looks very dark the dye looks dark but dye looks dark anyway like whatever colour you go for unless it's blonde so I was like okay just chill <laughs> it's gonna be fine so then she washed it off and she put a toner on and then she washed that off and then my hair was kind of like wet and I had a different person to cut my hair. Now the cut is a completely different story. Um, my hair was long and it is now this short. Now I don't know if you guys watch my weekly vlogs but if you do you will have heard me go on about the fact that I want my hair cut and I've said for ages that I really wanted it this length really. Um, however when I went in um, to the hairdressers I literally just said can I have a couple of inches off of the bottom just to basically get rid of the wispy ends and just kind of get it sorted. My hair was very long before, probably the longest it's been since I was like a little girl. Um, I was just grown really quickly recently I don't really know why it's my mum's wedding in July and I wanted my hair like long for the wedding so I can have it like curly and like plaited and whatever um I didn't want it kind of like short for the wedding because I thought I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it and my mum kind of wanted it long for the wedding as well anyway so she was cutting and she put her hand on my back and she says it's okay and I was like well if that's like one you know like one inch one and a half inches to get rid of the wispy bits then it's fine anyway so she cut it and as she was cutting it she was getting a bit scissor happy and it ended up quite short as you can see, like here, short, <laughs> um, well short for me anyway, and I was like, oh my god, it is short, <laughs> I didn't say it at the time, but I was a bit like, oh my god, the, the cut didn't bother me as much, I'm one of the people, hair grows, it's not the end of the world, it will grow, and also I did actually want it this length anyway, like, it's just the fact that I didn't want it then, so it's just a little bit of a shock, if you get what I mean, and as she was drying the hair, I was like, oh my god, my hair is so dark, so I'd gone into the hairdressers to ask whether I could have lighter hair. I wanted my hair blonder. I was drying it. I was like, oh my God, it is so dark. Now, you guys will have known, if you've watched it for a while, my hair used to be very dark, like almost black. Again, I'm going to put a picture here for you guys. So it used to be really, really dark. And I loved it at the time. And then looking back at photos now, I've realised I really hated my hair. Like, looking back at photos, I'm like, why did I think that was a good idea? My hair, like, suits me so much more this colour than it did really, really dark. Um, and so, I don't know, I've just been really passionate about that lately. Like, really looking at photos, being like, oh my god, what was I even thinking? All that kind of stuff. And I actually said it in the chair to the woman. I said, oh god, I was like, I really hope this isn't dark. And she was like, no, no, of course it won't be. And I said, well, I've been dark before and I really didn't like it. Um, I, you know, it just really doesn't suit me. 
So I can't tell you how many times I must have mentioned the fact that I don't want to be bloody dark. <laughs> anyway, and so she dried it, and it was a different girl, like, drying it. It was the girl that had cut my hair that was drying it. Um, so the guy, the girl that had coloured it was colouring somebody else's hair. And so she was drying it, and even though I was kind of, like, shocked when I was in the chair, it didn't look that dark in the shop. The lighting wasn't great in the shop, and I couldn't see the exact colour. Like, I didn't, you know, it did look dark, yeah, but I thought I could deal with it if it's only a couple of shades, not if it's, like, loads and loads of shades darker. Anyway, and I was going to have my eyebrows waxed there at the same time, and then as I was coming out, they were like, oh, do you want to come for your eyebrows? And I was like, oh, no thanks. I was like, I haven't got time now. And I did have time. It was just the fact I just wanted to get out of there because I really didn't like my hair. Anyway, so I got out and got in the car and I looked in my mirror, like the little rear view mirror, and I just thought, oh my god, this is so dark. Um, again, cut didn't bother me. Well, actually, the cut bothered me more when I first kind of got it cut. Because uh, I, like, I kept doing this, like kind of pull it down, like come on. And they curled it a lot, it was real tight curls. So it was like, it was like up here, so it, like it felt even more shorter. Anyway, so I went home and I went to my mum and I literally walked in and I burst out crying. I was like, Mum, I hate it. I was like, so awful. Like, literally was crying my eyes out. And she said, right, I'm going to ring them. So my mum rang them. Like, yes, I am 21, but I was literally in such a state about my hair. I was crying my eyes out, so mum rang them instead, uh, which I could have done myself, but, you know, I was crying. Uh, anyway, so she rang them and all they turned around and said is, oh, well, she saw the colours before we put them on her hair. And mum said, well, yeah, but you're the hairdresser. And anybody that's ever had their hair coloured before will, will know that when you look at those swatches in a book, they're not the same colour that will be on your hair. And I just said, if that's going to match my root, then that's absolutely fine. And, well, like, obviously you put your trust, trust in the hairdresser. Anyway, and then all they said was, you can wash your hair with washing up liquid. You're telling me that's your solution. I paid £90 to get my hair done um, at this hairdresser's. It was in my local town, at home. It wasn't in Manchester because I had my hair done in Manchester once as well and that was just not good either. <laughs> um, so I paid £90 to get my hair done and they, or the only solution they said was wash your hair with washing up liquid. And my mum was like, uh, no, I think we will not be doing that. Um, so anyway, and then they said, oh, okay, well, if she comes back in, we could put foils through the top, which is basically highlights. And mum was like, no, like it was so dark. I haven't even told you how dark it was. It was almost my eyebrow colour. It was dark, dark brown at the top, like really, really, really dark brown at the top. And especially because, you know, it had just been dyed, so it looked even darker than like, it probably would in a couple of days. Anyway, it was just awful. So they said, oh, put foil through the top. And mum was like, no, because that's not what she asked for in the first place. Like, at the end of the day, if you've done something wrong, you should, like, try to redirect it like, as a good, like, customer service. Anyway, so my mum rang her hairdressers, and her hairdresser said, right, I've got half an hour at half past four. If you want to, like, come over here, I will try and do something with her hair. Anyway, so I went over, and mum's hairdresser did, like, a bleach shampoo on my hair, which lifted some of the colour. So she basically just washed my hair with, I think it was three percent bleach um and shampoo mix it together and then she'd kind of wash my hair with it anyway once she dried that off it had kind of lightened a couple of shades but it was still very very dark it was more of a reddy brown now because obviously it was bleached which just shows how bad head and shoulder shampoo is because if somebody is saying that you if you, you can put that on your hair to lift color out of your hair then you really should probably not be using that on an everyday basis as a shampoo Anyway, so um, they all said to use that, so we went and brought some of that, and I was trying to lift it, and it just was not lifting in the slightest, it just wasn't moving at all. Um, and so I went to bed, and then the next day I was like, right, okay, we'll try all of the different remedies online, there was people saying you can use honey, you can use cinnamon, um, you can use washing up liquid, just lift the colour out of your hair. Anyway, and I woke up the next morning, and I was so upset about it again, I was like, oh my god, it just looks so awful. And the worst thing was, on the weekend, so this was on, by the way, I had it done on the Monday, so this is a Tuesday now. On the Friday, I was going to my friend Christina's for her 21st birthday party. Well, not her party, but we were going to her house and we were going out and going for drinks and stuff. And I thought, I'm not having my hair looking like this at the weekend when I go to hers. Um, I just thought, I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, I was like, there's going to be loads of pictures. It's one of my best friend's 21st birthdays and I could not have my hair looking awful. Anyway, so on the Tuesday, I woke up and I rang, my mum said, why don't you just ring a couple of hairdressers around our hometown? So I rang one hairdresser where my mum has been before, and they were okay, but they just seemed a bit like, oh, we don't really want to touch it, like, come in to see, but we might not be able to do anything. I think it's because obviously I was going, had a really bad experience, blah, 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 and didn't, they didn't want to mess up my hair more, basically. And then I rang this other hairdresser in my hometown. I keep trying to say the actual name of my hometown, it's quite small, so I never really want to say where it is. Anyway, so I rang this other hairdresser, and they were 
so nice. Um, she was so funny on the phone, the woman. She was like, literally, she was like, come in. And I was going, oh, it's my birthday, it's my good, like, best friend's birthday party at the weekend. Can't have my hair looking like this. She said, come in and I'll see what I can do. So I popped in. Um, at the time, I was in my pyjamas. So I just kind of like, quickly got ready. I didn't bother washing my hair. And I just went in and saw her. And basically, she was like, she literally fit me in. She was absolutely amazing. She had all these other clients. And she was like, right, I'm going to fit you in. So she did a bleach shampoo on my hair. Um, once again, she did a bleach shampoo, but she left it for longer this time. Because the other woman the day before, my mum's hairdresser, she couldn't have left it for longer because she didn't have the time. She had, like, another client. And she only had half an hour spare. Um, so, yeah, she left the bleach shampoo for longer this time. Um, and then she put a toner on top of it. So she put a toner on top. And then this is what I've come out with. So I've still got got a lot of blonde at the bottom which is what I wanted and then I've got kind of this like gingery brown colour on top um I kind of want to keep knocking a bit of the ginger out of the top of it because it is slightly a smidge too ginger right now so I keep trying to use purple shampoo to kind of like tone it and I'm just kind of leaving it on a couple of times a week just to like knock a bit of the ginger out but it doesn't really bother me that much and it has gone a little bit less ginger as the kind of like week has gone on with like using purple shampoo and stuff but she literally saved my hair she put the toner on and then she washed it off um, I was in there for about two hours um, and then she dried it for me she put some nice curls in it and everything and all of the staff in there was so nice all of them were saying like oh my god I'm so excited to see how your hair looks afterwards because obviously they saw it when I came in and it just looked horrible um it just looked like one of those home jobs you know what i mean like just the color that it was it was very orangey it was very like warm i know it's quite orange and warm now but it's not to the point where it look, it just looks very like oh i've bleached my bleached this at home myself kind of thing which i definitely had not um anyway and they just completely fixed my hair and she was amazing and she only charged me 20 pounds I was in there for two hours and she only charged me 20 pounds. And I said, I was like, it can't be 20 pounds. She was like, yes it is. And I think she kind of felt sorry for me, but 100% I'm going to be taking my custom back there. Um, so just a little tip if you're a hairdresser or if you own a hairdresser's, just the service that she gave me was literally amazing um, and in comparison to the other hairdressers like, I will never go back there again and I think one of the questions I'm going to get asked a lot in the comments is did you not go back and complain or did you not ask for a refund? So basically when I was actually in the hairdressers the woman um, was talking to me, you know, how you have a chat when you're in the seat and stuff. And she said to me, she was telling me a story about um, someone that didn't like their hair and they came back in and complained and asked for a refund. And that she said, we don't do refunds, we just redo people's hair. So she said that they would have redone my hair for free, basically, if I would have gone in. But they didn't seem to know what they were talking about. They said, oh, we'll put foils through it or blah, blah, blah. They didn't say, oh, we'll like you know, do a bleach shampoo, we can, you know, lift the colour, we can dye it again, anything. Like, everything that all the other hairdressers did, they didn't really seem to know how to do. Um, so I just kind of didn't want to put my trust back in them. Like, yeah, it was a lot of money and I would really appreciate that money back. Um, but the way they were talking was they weren't going to give me my money back, they were literally just going to redo my hair. Um, and I didn't really want them to touch it again, if you get what I mean. Like, you know, I didn't put my trust back in with them. Um, and as I say, the cut... I actually really like the girl did a really good job of the cut um, and even though it is a lot shorter than I wanted it to be um, I don't necessarily mind um, it's you know it's not like a big deal and I'm actually really getting used to the cut and I actually really like it and also one thing that I think I've mentioned quite a few times in weekly vlogs is my hair gets very knotty very quickly like I would literally no word of a lie put a coat on walk outside to the car and my hair will be knotty uh, it just gets really knotty right at the nape of my neck and having it shorter like this literally it hasn't got knotty and it's just been like such a blessing in disguise uh, it's been so nice so i've got pins and needles in one of my feet right now so i'm gonna end this video here i'm just trying to like wiggle my toes and not be too obvious um but yeah so basically that is the story of my hair disaster from the last week or so um i basically asked for my hair lighter and they dyed it darker don't really know how that possibly resonates in someone's head as the right thing to do but you know and i also showed pictures i'll put the pictures on the screen now of what i actually asked for and literally it was nothing like what i asked for in the slightest so grateful to the hairdresser that fixed my hair i will be definitely going back to her every single time i want my hair done now because yeah, I can't put my trust in anybody else now. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please leave a comment down below if you have any hair disasters, um, you know, that has happened to you or, you know, if this has helped you at all. Don't really know how it would have helped you, but, you know, just in case you need to go to the hairdresser and ask for a similar thing that I did or anything like that and just be very careful where you go. Um, I, you know, my stepmom goes to this hairdresser all the time. They do her hair great. So I think it was really just bad luck at that, you know, present time, but... 
yeah, it is it's a sticky situation. So anyway, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you haven't before. I would really appreciate it. And I will speak to you next time. Bye.